Senior Equipment Program provides the graduate with the opportunity for lucrative employment in the heavy equipment transportation sector, the heavy equipment energy sector, and oil and gas operations. So the heavy equipment technician program is two years in school and one year on the job training to provide the graduate with the necessary in-field experience of the task. There's a very high demand for heavy equipment technicians, both in the road transport industry and in the industrial sector of Trinidad and Tobago. So the heavy equipment field includes both on-road and off-road equipment. On-road equipment would represent anything from a large size pickup truck to the biggest size of equipment or trunk that is allowed to operate on the roads of Trinidad and Tobago. Off-road equipment would represent construction equipment including cranes that operate off-road. So these would include backhoes, excavator, track tractors, graders, etc. I choose the course because I always had a liking to the heavy equipment field, the off-road equipment, also the, the on-road equipment as well, um, and also to become a, a, a top technician in this field to be able to diagnose problems with both on-road and off-road vehicles, equipment. So far, I could say that the information I gained here has been very substantial. It has exceeded my expectations. The program also teaches us international safety as well. When you finish here, you could, you could probably pursue the career outside Trinidad and Tobago. The in-depth information you gain from this program, you can diagnose a problem by simply, by an operator or a owner, simply um, explaining to you what symptoms their equipment probably have, you could be able to diagnose that with the information gained in this program. Okay, heavy equipment entails truck and transport equipment, off-road equipment, right? We also do engines, we do power train, we do differentials. So, with the truck and transporting equipment, we learn everything pertaining to a truck, like the air brake system, the power steering system, we also do the electrical system as well, we also do the ABS system on a truck. The program is a two-year program. So the first year covers the on-road um, aspect of the training, that is pertaining to truck transport. The second year pertains to hydraulics, where we do things like power shift transmission, we do on the carriage. Once the trainee passes all these objectives, it makes the trainee more marketable for employment in the heavy equipment field because there's a high demand for heavy equipment technician in the truck and transport field. We teach the basics in how to safely operate these um, heavy pieces of equipment in the construction or industry as required to do it in a, in, a, in a safe manner. So that is what we teach here. The course consists of 280 hours, so in that time we teach the safe operation of these um, heavy equipment. What the equipment that we offer at NESC is some of the, the basic and those that are demand. As you see right behind me, we have the Baco, that is one of the, the, the demanding piece of equipment and heavy equipment. We also have the excavator, is also on demand. We have the bulldozer, we have the loader, and we have the dump truck. We offer five pieces of equi equipment here at NESC where we receive practical training in these five pieces, but we also offer knowledge and other equipment that is on the market also. Uh, after having this training in heavy equipment, there's a lot of opportunities. Um, heavy equipment is involved in building highways, roadways. It is used also for clearing land, for building industries, and, 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 and a lot of applications like that. Some of the equipment is also used in farming. All right, so there's a lot of opportunities for heavy equipment operators out in the market once you receive the proper training and qualifications in heavy equipment operation. So the conduct hours to this course is 280 hours, but within that, that, that time frame we will do both theory and practical. 
but it's more practical based. So it's 280 hours of training right here at our center. And at the end of that 280 hours, you will be a heavy equipment operator. I came into the program as a trainee in the year 2010. I did the NESE HET program, which was actually combined with the Canadian Red Deer College. I was successful in both year one and year two of that program, and then later on I did be successful in year three and year four. I then became an instructor at the NESC in the year 2012, starting in October, where I started at Point Lisa's campus. I did a couple months at the Point Lisa's campus, then I was attached to deliver the program for a batch of PTSE trainees at PTSE Portersfield where I spent one year delivering the HET program at the compound in Port of Spain. I then returned to the NESC campus at the Point Lisa Center, continuing to different classes. I also did a lot of training with students that are now really employed and they are successfully employed in various companies throughout the country. From my tenure here, I had 12 people in my present class as a trainee and two of those from that present class are now working at recognized company. Um, we recognize um, the, the critical role that NESC was providing to employers like FP Farfa. Um, we got a number of our suppliers to engage with the NESC and to facilitate training with their trainers, particularly JCB, our heavy equipment um, industrial line. Um, our experience has been good. Um, yes, they come to us fairly green, but the quality of the staff that have come out of the program we found to be good. Um, and we always look to NESC um, as a first call when we're recruiting technical talent. Um, technical talent is always a, a difficult skill. Um, and I would say I've been in this business personally um, 17 years and I would say consistently we've been challenged to find good technical skills and NESC has been very helpful in producing graduates that are relevant to the industry.